Hey guys, it's Duncan, and I have got quite the video for you guys today. Um, this is going to be a post-Hurricane Michael Webkins collection video, and I'm going to be real with you guys. My collection is incredibly sad. Um, prior to the hurricane, I remember uh, it was a few weeks prior to Hurricane Michael, I had done a updated Webkins collection video and had found a couple more not too like long before the storm i had about 200 or so webkins that i recall um i had quite a lot unfortunately i have maybe 30 um due to the storm long story okay but most of my webkins were in my closet and my closet got pretty bad damaged. Um, I, it was a lot of water damage in my house. And so most of my webkins, unfortunately, I had to leave um, along with numerous other things. But um, after the storm, I only had a couple of hours window to grab as much stuff that I could salvage out of my house as possible. That means just grabbing things and shoving it into anything I could put it in without even thinking. Like, I didn't even have time to even stand there and think about what I should or should not grab. It was literally grab everything that you can as quickly as you can and get the freak out. Because my house was incredibly dangerous to be in after the storm. And that brings me to this little guy here. Holy crap, guys. I literally just found this plush in the mix of all of my stuff in my closet and words can't describe how so thankful and relieved and happy I am to have found this plush. This is Kippy. She is a little beanie boo I guess is what they call them. I don't know but anyway so I thought this whole time like Yesterday marked four months since the storm hit. I just moved into this gorgeous apartment, which I will be doing a tour video um, probably in the next couple weeks. I just moved into this beautiful apartment. Most of my stuff has been packed away. I haven't even been able to even go through it until like today. And in the midst of grabbing things and just tossing it in a random bag and stuff, you know, and even my mom was helping me, so I wasn't even sure what she was grabbing and shoving into bags. Like, this is probably the fastest move I've ever done in my life. Um, for the past four months, I have been like, oh my gosh, I left Kippy. I didn't get to save Kippy. This plush means a lot to me. I don't know if you guys realize that or not, but I really love this plush. I was devastated. Like, I thought... Kippy had gotten left on accident and she got thrown in a dumpster. Everything that left, everything that I left in the apartment, whether it be damaged or not, because I know I got, I didn't even get a chance to salvage some stuff that was salvageable. I only had a small SUV to put stuff in. And once we got that SUV loaded up, it was it. And then once we left, that was over. Like, you grab what you can, you leave, and you can't come back. I thought le I left Kippy. And I was, I had the plan to do a updated Webkins collection video, actually a post-Hurricane Michael Webkins collection video. So I was rummaging through my stuff in my closet, rearranging things, and lo and behold, I found Kippy. And I almost cried. I was so happy. I didn't leave Kippy. I'm so happy. Okay, but anyway, so, unfortunately, my Webkins collection is very small, um, and I, I didn't get to save some that meant a lot to me. Fortunately enough, my best friend has found me probably over 100 Webkins by now. I don't have them yet. That's going to be a video all on its own, the unboxing video. Man, I'm ready for that. But, um, so, here is my post-Michael Hurricane Webkin's collection video. I'm having a really hard time articulating words right now. I'm sorry. So 
out of the 200 that I had, this is all that I have now. This is the Webkins right here that I managed to save from Hurricane Michael. Now, I do still have a couple of things left at my mother-in-law's house. I know for a fact that I have at least one Webkins in that stuff. My regular Arctic Fox is one that I know that I grabbed because I, I remember grabbing it. He is not among these right there. I know that I have him though, so. But um, my signatures, we got Zippy, the tuxedo cat. I got my tagged cougar that I found um, at the flea market like a couple of days prior to the storm. Um, I did have another cougar who had a derpy face. I did not get to save him, so he got left. Uh, there's my signature Persian, obviously my timber wolf, my African wild dog, and my cheetah, and my Portuguese water dog. Sadly, these are the only signatures I was able to save. I had an Arctic hare, and I had another cougar, like I said. Um, I don't remember the other ones that I had, but those were the only ones that were saved. And as for my regular Webkins, I did manage to save this kippy. Unfortunately, the regular size kippy did not get saved. I feel very sad about it. Um, but my little Ken's clip kippy is alive and well. Um, we've got Ari, my canary. Obviously, was like one of the first Webkins I grabbed. He, I love him. For those who don't know, I absolutely love the heckles out of birds, and so I'm glad that I was able to save Ari. And then, of course, my peace puppy. I thought I had left her as well. Glad I did not. My little kins, Clydesdale. My whatever this is, I don't remember. My pink Googles, unfortunately, that's the only Googles I was able to save. My blue little kins, Hippo. Another one of my favorites, my, one of my poodle, I think this is the Poshy Poodle or the Poofy Poodle, I don't know, the Poshy Poodle, saved her, there's Chad, my Caramel Lion, saved Tim, my Tuxedo Cat, which I honestly didn't realize that I had saved, I was pretty upset when I thought this is one of the Webkins I had been wanting for years. I'm not even joking you. Found him at the flea market and was so happy that day. I saved him. I'm so happy. And of course, Emerald, my, uh, oh, Winter Mint Husky? Yeah. Okay, so obviously her, one of my, um, oh, dang. What is this? Mo mocha pup yes i had several of these um it's the only one i was able to save my frou-frou poodle i do believe is what this is no poofy poodle i don't know where i got frou-frou from okay so my husky pup my samoyed lionel i think this is his name my curly lion my two corgis. This is Oliver. And I don't remember what I named him, but that's the new one and the old one. This is a sad, sad moment for me because this is the only tiger that I was able to salvage out of the like six or seven that I had. I love this Webkins and I collected them and just about all of the, all of them but one, the one I had found recently prior to the storm um, at Goodwill, and he was pretty banged up, but I loved him. But this is the only Bengal tiger. I do believe that's what this is called. Yes. This is the only one, Sam, that I was able to save, and it's not Stripes. Stripes got left. 
I'm pretty upset about that. I had like six or seven of these and the all but one, like I said, the one that I found at Goodwill prior to the storm, all I had gotten when my best friend Sam was down visiting me, she and I raided both like a near a neighboring city and my city of these guys. And Stripes was her Webkin's German Shepherd, John's best friend. And unfortunately, Stripes got left. And I feel pretty bad about that. This is my new Stripes. And he will remain special to me. I'm sorry, I'm going to move on. I'm. It's upsetting, I'm sorry. So, my Schnauzer... One of my many that I had, I now only have one, but I had so many of these. I think it's the Striped Alley Cats. This is a regular sized one. I was not able to save my little kins, which is very upsetting. My one Finnick Fox. I had a tagged one, and unfortunately he got left, and his tag was still sealed, and I am so pissed at myself for that. I found this one at the the doll no come on at the flea market and I am glad I at least grabbed one I thought I had grabbed the tagged one and I guess I did not we have Kringle and his girlfriend I guess is what I had expected this to be my two Bernese mountain dogs my lynx I'm assuming my pirate parrot Teague I thought I left him as well, and I am so glad I didn't. <laughs> um, my love frog. Um, and then my pumpkin puppy, and my, this is coral, my um, tropical island pup, or whatever. These are the only three puppies out of all the puppies I had that I was able to save deeply upsetting. I miss February and I wish I still had her. And then I have my Grey Wolf. I have my Yorkie, Teacup Yorkie, I believe. She has no nose, but I found her at Goodwill. I actually thought I had left her and I pulled her out of all of my stuff and I'm like, oh, I saved her. That's exciting for me. And then my um, my fox. Like I said, I also saved my Arctic fox. I just don't know where he is. My Old English Sheepdog. This is an older one. It's not the new one. My Beagle. My regular size Husky, who I thought I left, and I'm so glad I didn't. And then Murphy. My, um, the Coco Lab. He's another favorite of mine. So yeah, that's all the Webkins I was able to save, minus the one that I have somewhere. I don't know where he is. Like I said, I might have more at my mother-in-law's house, but I don't know who. Um, and if I do have some at her house, it's not many. This video is getting really long. And then after the hurricane, in the midst of the devastation, I found these guys. This guy was in a parking lot at Walmart. And um, I'm really excited about that because I had recently acquired, reacquired the spotted leopard, I believe, yes, from another collector that I had recently, that I had traded to. Um, he was mine, I traded him to her, but then years later she traded him back. He got left, he got ruined in the storm. So I, this guy showed up randomly and at a Walmart parking lot, someone had just, I guess someone lost him He's mine now. I love him. And uh, I found the Little Kins Tiger and then the Regular Size Tiger both together at Goodwill a couple weeks ago. I found this cutie yesterday. I think it's the Little Kins White Terrier. And then I found the Warthog at Goodwill. All of these were actually at Goodwill minus this one. And then the, uh, I don't know what this is. And he doesn't have a tag, so I don't really... If anybody wants to inform me of what this dude is, that'd be great. 
He has an old tag, so I don't know. But I found these after the, the hurricane, so I mean, I'm slowly building my collection back up. And like I said, my best friend has a humongoid box that's probably probably weighs more than I do by this point, full of webkins and other miscellaneous stuff. So, and once I get the rest of my furniture, I'll be doing a apartment tour. So. Sorry for getting emotional with you guys in this video. Um, <laughs> this past four months has been really hard on me. Um, I never wish the kind of trauma and events I have, have been through to anyone, not even my worst enemy. So just, you know, always be grateful for the things you have, I guess is what I'm wanting to say. Because... When you take things for granted, they they can be ripped away from you quickly than just as quick as as anything else. So always remember that. Be grateful, be thankful, be happy. And yeah. There's my view out of my bedroom window. <laughs>